Hey everybody, it's Eric here from Lapix. Got another video for you guys today. It's a beautiful Friday morning. And it's right before we open, and we're just gonna be looking at a MacBook here. We got this one, it's a MacBook Air, a little bit of an older model, but uh, people still really like it anyway because it's just popular. It's great, it's great made for students or people who like a very lightweight, very small one. Um, it's nice. I used to own like an 11 inch one. Oh, I love that one. I, I would love to have that size again. Did you guys ever have that one or like that sizes? I know they have like the 12 inch MacBooks and we make some videos about those, but I always think these ones are actually pretty cool. Um, I know the screen resolution and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's not the greatest right now, but back in the day, it was actually pretty cool. Pretty nice to have a very thin and not super expensive laptop. So let me know if you guys actually have one of those down below. I think it was like the A1465 model. This is A1466 13 inch. But so today, what do we see here? Um, we see that we plug this in. And there is no AC light going on there, right? So we want to figure out what that is. Um, yeah, we can play with the charger. You're probably like, yeah, just play with it. Sometimes it doesn't come up, right? Well, you play with it multiple times, it just isn't going to show anything. So we need to see actually what's going on. So let's get right into it. So let's take out the battery connection. And we do know to get an orange light, we need to have this cable actually working. It'll be communicating with uh, the I.O. board and the main board. And the SMC also has to be working as well, right? Let's take it up. We actually see this cable does have a burn on it as well as the other side. Um, the I.O. board looks to be okay, but let's go into the microscope. See, the I.O. board pins don't look to be that bad. But maybe there was some type of liquid spill or something, because you see that? It doesn't look to be the cleanest out here. So maybe there's a liquid spill and it didn't impact that. That would make a little bit more sense, right? So you see this, all this up here? All this kind of maybe looks like a liquid spill, especially even near the heat sink. Maybe there's some type of liquid spill there. And that's kind of why it was maybe impacted, maybe got burned. The pins actually don't look to be too bad here. But let's go over to um, the main board here. Pins there, actually the pins don't look to be that bad at all. Um, most likely just the cable had the issue there. We could do a little bit of a cleanup because it just got a little bit burned, a little bit impacted. Um, maybe I can put just a little bit of your solder, just clean up. Maybe there's a few pins here, but it really doesn't look to be that bad. So maybe we can just touch it up a little bit there. So if we go over our screen capture, we have <coughs> the port over here. And we see maybe why some of these are important, right? Obviously it's connecting and um, it's connecting the power connection, at least the data line to it because we do also have the main power line, which is over here, right? So you get your PVDC in, this is where, um, when you plug it in, it's gonna actually get power, is from this one. And you also do, you can see a lot of these cables are actually just ground, but there's three of them. This is kind of like a typical, maybe like power jack type port. And then when we have the cable that goes over, it's gonna touch this one, and that goes over to the IO. So we look at the pins, we can go up USB power, um, because obviously this is not only a power jack, this is an audio jack. Port. Um, I believe it even has audio chip on there, if I'm not mistaken, and um, has lots of communication going on here. So the green light is really important. So when you get the green light, you want to see that's communicating with the SMC, which is probably right one of these ones. And you can see a SM bus, SMC2, S3, SCL. Um, even on the other side, you can see audio power, lots of other things going on here. USB um, is going to be either work or not work, right, because of something like this, because it's communication. You get speaker as well, right, because there's audio there. So lots of stuff go on here. That's important, um, even though some of it's kind of unrelated, but if it gets impacted or there's some type of burn, that's going to impact those as well. So um, that's why uh, this one doesn't seem to be too much of a big mess here. So we can do just like a cleanup. It's really not the, that big of a deal. Replace uh, the cable and the, the I.O. board just to be safe there. Um, check the board, board looks good, so I don't really see really much else uh, going on. So let's go ahead and uh, fix it up and then we'll test it. Now this looks like liquid to me, right? Something happened here. Maybe it's a liquid, some type of corrosion on that side. We don't definitely don't want to reuse this one, especially for the pins looking there. It doesn't look to be good. And let's take a look at this side. This is where uh, the part of the board connects here. This whole entire trace looks to be gone. It looks like it's been like, uh, yeah, it's totally burnt there and it looks pretty bad. So for this one, we can just do a replacement cable because these cables are pretty easy to be replaced. So we replaced uh, this cable and the IO jack there just to replace. See, these are pretty easy. They're more modular. Uh, obviously, we don't want to reuse those same ones that are giving a problem. And let's go ahead and see what happens. So let's plug it in. We should get our light. And there you go.
Anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on fixing a MacBook Air. A um, little bit of an older model, but still interesting. Always type or try to make the video a little bit more interesting and more educational. If you learned something, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. See you guys next video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.